I'm not really leaving the house or anything so there's no point in me vlogging and I remembered why I originally started vlogging is to show my daily life and to be able to look back on these experiences and memories and this is just reality this is my daily life um today I'm going to be well, I'm about to get my breakfast and everything I have a huge day ahead of me today I need to create a media kit now if you're new to the blogging world and you don't have a blog a media kit is pretty much what you send out to companies and um you know, if they want to work with you they can kind of see your um audience and see like where they're from and your demographics and your statistics i don't want to use all those big words with y'all but it's just pretty much like a a press kit i guess you could say you send it out to um, any companies that are interested in working with you to make sure that you guys align together um, make sure that they are looking for the audience that you have and they have a product that your audience will like I'm working on that today because I haven't updated mine since the last anniversary, which was in 2012 so I'm gonna update mine today because I am working with two much bigger much bigger brands and I need to make sure that my number is right and everything. After I do that, I need to film the rest of this Target video. I'm working with Target on a video and I need to get that done. But now I think at 3.30, yeah, 3.30, I have a conference call with a really, really big, big brand. Super excited about it. So I need to have my media kit ready and have my uh, numbers and everything ready to negotiate. Um, when the conference call happens. So right now mom's at chemo. Mom is at chemo. And I think she's only there for two hours because they couldn't give her all of her treatment yesterday. So she's at chemo and when she gets home, she's gonna sit with me for this call to make sure that everything is going the right way. Cause you know, contracts and everything are gonna be involved. That's pretty much it. That's all I've really been doing is just like corresponding with brands and um, Trying to make sure that my channel is right like going back on my channel answering comments just trying to make sure everything is great but like i said i'm just super super excited i'm super happy and blessed that i got to go to school for hair and i'm pretty much working in the hair industry hey y'all it's about oh my mom it's one o'clock in the morning what are you thinking I'm about to lose these babies. Um, second round of chemo this week and my hair is totally gone. It's like barely hanging on on a string. I don't know if I could show you guys patches. You could probably show it because I can't. Look at this. 
Trust me, I already cried, so. Me too, I cried three times today. <laughs> today? Mm -hmm. Wow, you didn't tell me that. That's after I showed you? Oh my gosh, look at my, how beautiful my hair is. I'm gonna save like two of them. Don't cry. It's gonna grow back. You'll make me cry. You wanna stop? Huh? You want me to turn the camera off? Be strong now. Here is here, like you told me. All right, y'all, I'll show the finishing product. So, here's the finished product. Well, it's not the finished product, but she finished cutting my twist out. So now she's just conditioning my scalp, that feels great. And she's going to shave it completely off. I never thought that this day would come. I was trying to hold on to, um, I do look terrible. No, I'm saying when we cut it down, it's not going to look bad. I really thought it was going to look way different than this. So, um, I never thought I was going to lose my hair like this. And two of the drugs that's in my regimen is going to make me lose my hair. But um, I saw my twisties and I thought, oh, my hair is not going to fall. But they were barely holding on to strands. afternoon I don't know what day what time it is it's rough so it's good afternoon y'all we're just running errands this morning um you see this afternoon we're about to go make a quick stop then we go in grocery shopping we're gonna get that chine no we ain't got that no chine um Ray is about to start me off on this juice diet because I'm not eating. Um, I have problem digesting my food. So she's going to try, um, well, we are going to try the juice and diet, which is instead of eating solid, I can't eat any solid foods. So I'm just going to have my fruits and vegetables um, in a juice um, form. It's hitting me hard. But I'm hanging in there. I'm getting some chicken breasts. Gather up the strength to do a package today. Um, to me, I um, packaged a pair of um, the gold earrings, natural girl earrings. And if you're watching this, because I'm pretty sure you're a subscriber, that fit that uh, what's it called default picture on Etsy. It looks really, really familiar. But whoever you are, I don't want to say your name, but it was Hayward, California. Thank you for supporting us. And you gave mom a job. She got paid uh, yesterday. <laughs> and she Try. only had to work for what? Two Five seconds. minutes. <laughs> Package it up. We would have shipped it off yesterday, but she really wasn't feeling good. And I was tired. But yeah. You should get it on Monday, though. 
Oh yeah, today is Friday. Mm -hmm. She said it'd be there Monday. Oh, okay. Yep, still pretty good timing. Mm -hmm. But thank you for supporting us. Yeah, thank you. We are home, and this is the first that I've vlogged. Anne had the genius idea. You know, I went to school for this or whatever. Baby food. So they were 10 for 10. And we got different flavors. And this, uh, this particular brand, which is still crazy to me, because the girl baby food was not 100% raw. If you look at the ingredients, this one is called uh, apple and blackberry. The ingredients say apples and blackberry. No additives, no extra stuff. So, for the days that she wants to be lazy and not juice anything, she got baby food. And then when she's ready to juice, we have um, this diet that I found. This one is black grapes, pur purple grapes, uh, black raspberries or something like that, and then um, some blueberries at the bottom. So that's for the fruit juices. And then, then at the bottom we have um, celery, baby spinach, which is pretty much spoiled now. Eggplant, a whole bunch of green stuff. This is a um, thing full of apples and apricots. I couldn't close that away. And then a whole bunch of green stuff. That's not apricot? Oh, peaches, peaches. Apples and peaches is, a, is in there and then the green stuff. So she could just take them straight out the bowl and just juice them real quick. Some butterscotch candy, some peppermints, and then some other stuff. The grandma candies upstairs. And then she's eating this stuff. That's sweet potatoes and spinach, um, spinach and quinoa, which is what it's she had zucchini. earlier. So she's finishing that up. But yep. So we do, oh, and a pineapple, a fresh pineapple. So it's gonna be the raw, food diet and um what is her name remington or Re rhymington i forgot your name um you were saying she should do a plant-based diet on herself so we're not going to go the plant based route but we are going um the raw food diet raw raw food juice diet is the name of it so when i did my research and everything i found out that the reason why she was getting like all the indigestion and like not being able to um, like really really nauseated on that stuff and not being able to go to sleep is because her body is overworking to process the food so we're gonna eat baby food and juicing because it's, it's easier for her body to break down and just swallow and, and y'all hear that she she burping now and she eat the food this is like my newborn baby <laughs> she burps every time she eats so that's a good sign I told you he wasn't like the sweet potatoes. We should have got more than one of the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So yeah, any mothers out there? The beech nut brand. Amazing. In the end, some of your greatest pain becomes your greatest strength.